So we're looking at four log and one half log. So I can't use property three until I get rid of the four and the one half. So I'm going to bring the four up so and the one half up. So this becomes log base three of x to the fourth subtract log base three of that set of parentheses to the one half power. And what's in that set of parentheses is x plus three. Now you notice that the coefficients on these logarithms are one. So since they're one, I can go in, use directly property three. This is property two, according to your book. Is that if I have a subtraction, a subtraction turns into a, yeah, a, a fraction or division of the two arguments. So it becomes log base three of the numerator because the coefficient of th this log is plus, so the numerator is x to the fourth, and because the coefficient of this is minus, it is going to be x plus three to the one-half power. And then that's property three. Now, where we use this primarily as an equation solving, as you'll see in 10.7. We take it apart in order to work with formulas. We put it back together for equation solving. So there are purposes for both of these. Now, I notice right away the coefficient of this log is one coefficient of this one is also one. So I can use the property directly. I've got log base two of something, subtract log base two of something. And subtraction says it turns into a quotient. It's log base two. And the numerator is the one with the plus in the front. And the denominator is the one with the minus in front. So you, it is the quotient of the two arguments. Now here, I notice that I've got a one-third times log, which means the first thing I'm going to have to do is bring that exponent up. So this becomes log base 7 of x to the one-third power plus log base 7 of y. Now both coefficients are 1. This is a plus, which means everybody's plus, which means that I'm talking, looking now at a multiplication of the arguments. So this becomes log base 7 of something, and it's the product of these two guys. So it's x to the 1 third multiplied times y. You could turn the x to the 1 third into cube root if you wanted to. And I have some students, I know that, especially in the 11 o'clock hour, that would love to do that. They do those kinds of things. But to be honest with you, I personally would quit while I'm ahead because they go from here to here, there's a better chance of making an error. If this is fine, leave it and move on. <laughs>